Hi viewers, I am Malini Mali and I follow Ricky Chada Astro Healer on YouTube. Hello friends, this is Ricky Chada from Astro Healer channel and as I had promised you that I shall be bringing in front of you a video uh, pertaining to the planetary transits, conjunction, combustion uh, for the year 2022. And I shall be uh, making a video on each and every Lagana, uh, what you can expect in the month of, uh, in the year 2022. See, this is going to be very generic. So, it's not that whatever I'm going to say about a particular Lagana or particular Rashi is going to be applicable verbatim. No, you have to consider your Dasha, Mahadasha and so on. There are many other factors also, but... In a generic view, I can give you a little bit of hint what could what what you can encounter in the year 2022. Now, I do not want to make this video very long, so what I have done is I have divided this video into two parts. Okay. First, I shall be talking about from Aries to Libra, putting a timestamp also for your convenience. And then the second video shall be from Scorpio to Pisces. This will make things easy for you as well as for me also. Before I start this video, let me make a request to you. Subscribe to my channel. Like the video, maybe at the end of the video, if you like it, like the video. Click on the notification bell icon as well. That's a request. Let's start with the first sign, Aries. Aries, let us understand that Saturn is in the 10th house and Jupiter is in the 11th house. This is a Dharma Karma Yoga operating on you currently. So you need to focus on your profession. That's very important. Also, you have to put a little bit of efforts for your social activities. Take care of your health as well. Whatever you understand by the word gain, income, you need to understand that these things do not come to you without your efforts. So you have to put a lot of efforts into it and definitely you are going to achieve whatever you have intended for. See the planet Mars will be entering the zodiac sign of Sagittarius in the later half of the month which is 16th of January. This is going to be very favorable for you financially. The transit of Jupiter which will take place in the month of uh, April on 13th of April into its own sign uh, Pisces will definitely help you to success to success or succeed in your academics if you are a student since Plata, the, the planet saturn shani dev is now present in your 10th house and shall be for most of the year because it will go forward and then again come back <clears throat> you will have to work a little harder put efforts if you want to achieve success. The beginning of the year 2022, I see may bring some challenges, which are like, you know, challenges are always there in life. And especially these challenges are for you people who are into romantic relationship. See the conjunction of Saturn and Mercury from the beginning of 2022 itself, it will remain say about till March, can invite a little bit of health issues, maybe digestion uh, related issues could be troubling you. Mars is also transiting in Pisces later on in the month of uh, maybe from mid-May till August. This is the long period. You need to take special precautions and keep an eye on your 
diet plan what are you eating also i would say must be your own uh, sign it rules the sign of aries and scorpio both and is going to aspect the fourth house till 10 august and then transiting into the uh, second house will majorly have an impact on your family life so what i would request you is financially period is good career wise if you put an effort it's very good for you health you have to take care in into romantic relationship you have to be a little careful and see the transit of mars venus mercury sun and moon we should not be too much tensed tensed about it because these are the planet which normally uh, transits for a shorter period of time problem is with the four major planets which goes very slow that is saturn then we have got rahu ketu and then we have jupiter these are the planets we have to actually concentrate and all that i have spoken about is keeping those planets in mind the next sign uh, i'm talking about is a sign of taurus now taurus i would say these few months the beginning of this months okay uh you have to be careful about your the health of your spouse maybe you will be given more responsibility at your workplace so the load is a little uh, more on you but at the same time your social image between the social circle is improving getting better saturn then in your ninth house means that you must um, whichever whichever uh, god goddesses you uh, worship make sure that you know you do the puja the uh, you know whatever rituals you have to perform according to your tradition you must follow this Just try to visit temples if you can now with the transit of mars on the 16th of january in the sign of sagittarius yes your luck will start favoring you and you will have some favorable outcome in the field of your career whichever profession you are into and it will bloom also saturn placed in the 10th house from your sign multiple source of income also will come because you have to understand saturn is going to i'm talking about the entire year and you know what is happening in the month of april it is taking a transit from one house to the other house see now we have got several planetary movement taking place in the month of april i have already made a video on this also you will be able to accumulate wealth and money will start flowing in very smoothly however maybe several ups and downs you will see in the month of um, august between august and october this is where you have to be a little cautious now with the transit of jupiter guru <clears throat> in your 11th house in pisces on 13th of april you will be spending lavishly on all that you want or you have desired for also maybe you can establish good relationship with your seniors with your colleagues with your boss whatever it is so this is i would say a better period now and also an understand rahu which is currently in your own sign is also taking a transit going into the 12th house whenever rahu is getting into the 12th house we have to also understand normally there is always a shift uh, we can also say sthan parivartan or a shift or something i see would go a little uh, there will be some changes in your life next sign is a sign of gemini now for gemini people we need to understand that jupiter jupiter 
is supportive. Why? Because Jupiter is going to be in your is into the ninth house and then getting further into the tenth house. So your personal life, your health, your environment will remain positive and quite stable for Gemini people. You will get unexpected favor or unexpected luck, okay, opportunities, and these are going to help you a lot. Make the most of them, and you must materialize on the gains as long as Jupiter is in Aquarius first of all till the 13th of April. Your enemies, your enemies, if you have one, uh, you will, will, they will not be able to go against you. And I see some gains coming from foreign land also. There's possibility. Planetary movement also suggests that several challenges and opportunities coming in your way, that is for Gemini people, Saturn in its own sign in the 8th house from January to March. April it is taking a shift. It is, it is April also. Maybe it can incur some financial loss as well as health challenges and some suffering. You have to take care of your health and some challenges at least till the month of April I would say. This can prove to be a testing time for, people, for you people especially from the mid-February, I would say 17th of February till April because maybe you suffer from several health issues, especially joint pains, acidity, cold, cough and so on. However, then what will happen, there is going to be a transit of Rahu in your 11th house after mid-April, uh, to be precise, it is on the 12th of April. This can bring some positive changes in the in your lives. Time will be very faithful for student. As Jupiter, due to Jupiter's transit in the sign of Pisces. And the 10th house, student will attain desired result in the academic life, especially between April and July. However, after the 27th April, actually it is the 28th, I would say, Saturn is moving into the 9th house from your sign. This, this would definitely, uh, is indicating that students preparing for competitive exams, uh, we will have to wait longer to gain success. For professional people, if you are into a profession, if you are looking for a job, you are a job seeker, you will get the desired uh, opportunities, whatever you're looking for. As a result, also uh, I see Mars is transiting in the 10th, 11th and 12th from your sign between May and August. This also has to be borne in mind. So this is going to give you good result if you are a, into, into a profession as well. The next sign <clears throat> we are talking about is a sign of cancer. Now for cancer people, I would suggest you see the few months, the beginning would definitely put you under some stress because Jupiter in the 8th, Saturn in the 7th and Rahu in the 11th house, Ketu in the 5th house will not give you any relief for the few months. Keep doing your uh, religious activities. Avoid getting into any arguments with people, especially with your spouse or business partner, also with, ch uh, with children. Friends would definitely be the lifesavers for you, but don't blindly trust people. My suggestion. <clears throat> Saturn in your 7th house at the beginning of the year can give you rise to several problems in life. But with the transit of Mars in, uh, in Sagittarius on the 16th of January, your level of confidence would definitely increase and you will be able to get rid of several problems instantly. <clears throat> However, Mars in the house of leisure and happiness can also give you give a rise to your 
हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो आई सी प्रॉब्लम फॉर योर मदर हेंस यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ सी वॉट शी ड्रिंक्स सी वॉट शी ईट्स शी वॉट इज द डाइट प्लान फॉर हर आफ्टर अप्रिल यस लॉट ऑफ प्लानिटरी ट्रांजिट्स एंड मूवमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो सैटर्न इज ट्रांजिटिंग इन टू एक्वेरियस साइन फ्रॉम अप्रिल अप्रिल एंड आई वुड से टू मिड जुलाई बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट इट इज गोइंग रेट्रोग्रेड विल मेजरली इम्पैक्ट योर फाइनेंशियल लाइफ आफ्टर विच द टाइम फ्रॉम अप्रिल टिल ऑगस्ट विल टर्न आउट टू बी वेरी फ्रूटफुल सिचुएशन विल इंप्रूव आफ्टर द ट्रांजिट ऑफ प्लान टूपीटर इन योर नाइन्थ हाउस फ्रॉम योर फ्रॉम योर साइन ड्यूरिंग द मिड एंड अप्रिल मिड अप्रिल दैट इज ऑन द थर्टीन ऑफ अप्रिल आफ्टर द ट्रांजिट ऑफ राहु इन एरीज फ्रॉम टॉरस टू गो टू एरीज विल गिव यू राइज टू सेवरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यू which will bring the bring you a good fortune till the month of september between june and july mars is going to enter into the sign of aries fully it is looking and aspecting your sign uh, so i would say you will be able to come out of negativity so you will be more positive and specially to do with your married life the next sign is a sign of leo now for leo people i would say this is one of the best period is coming for you one of the best period saturn is going to destroy all your enemies jupiter will support you in every way possible and will bring important people in your life in your circle and this is going to expand your positivity so you have a positive mindset because you know when you have right people around you you are very positive rahu will want to shine you in your profession or business or in society ketu will also help you uh, for your spiritual growth <clears throat> spiritually you grow i think you should use this time this is a, to the fullest and i see material gains for you in this time frame definitely with the transit of your sign lord sun in the 5th house at the beginning of the year financial condition will definitely improve now the transit of mars from january uh, end till march will improve your child's health if you have any issues uh, you will see lot of uh, a favorable a time for him for, for your child mars in the 6th house from your sign from 26th of january february sorry february while aspecting the house of luck and fortune 9th house great success in your profession life can be seen however i would say that be a little alert in the month of february and april since the planetary conjunctions that are forming can be a little unfavorable for you that particular period just be a little careful the month of april will be full of unexpected occurrences for people with leo as a lagna or as a sign see the planetary transit of rahu in aries on the 12th of april that is the ninth house from your sign can give you some health related problems jupiter in pisces from the 13th of april till the month of august fully aspecting your fifth house will definitely prove to be very fortunate for you and especially for your children and if you yourself is a are a student and you are pursuing some secondary education or further education it's a very good time for you 
See, in the following uh, months, what will happen is Rahu in Aries after 12th April can lead to a very good professional relationship with your bosses and your seniors. This will definitely will have an impact on your reputation at work. No doubt about it. Maybe uh, there is a chance of promotion or increment for you. Between April and September, if you are married, so for married couples, I would say you will get over with the marital uh, if you were into some trouble some conflict maybe you can then uh, have a miss have a understanding and you may even go for a trip when mars will st uh, transit uh, in taurus between 10th august and october this is going to be uh, a very favorable time your luck will definitely shine so this is all about uh, the sign of Leo. The next sign is Virgo. For Virgo, this time is bit stressful. See Jupiter in the sixth will increase your service requirement no doubt about it saturn in the fifth does not allow you full expression of your intelligence and keeps your confidence a little low rahu in the ninth can help you to some extent if you do your puja part ketu in the third house again can also um, be helpful by avoiding trusting your siblings too much according uh, See, according to the planetary movement, what I can see is you're going to enjoy great wealth and financial prosperity. At least at the beginning of 2022, as a result of Mars in Sagittarius in the month of January, 16th January. However, things will go a little down health wise as they can, maybe you can suffer from some minor, minor, I'm not talking about major health issues. Month of uh, April, June and September seems to be unfavorable as well as concerning your health point of view. So health is going to be the cause of many worries in your life. The transit of Mars in Capricorn and the fifth house from your sign on 26th of February will now be, you will be a little more optimistic academic wise if you are studying if you are a student is going to be a good period for you see at the beginning of march so this year uh, coming year march there are conjunction of four major planet that is saturn mars mercury and venus in your fifth house and capricorn sign indicates favorable financial condition and can give, can give a rise to your source of income that means you will have you your income will rise maybe you have multiple sources of income as well from april end till mid july saturn transiting in your sixth house in aquarius you can experience differences between you and your family okay on the other hand i also see that between september and december end this period can prove to be highly favorable for you if you are a student and if you are uh, maybe you want to pursue your education further education abroad along with this with mercury transiting in libra that is the second house from your sign in the month of october and it will stay there till mid november you will experience relationship between you and your beloved stronger, much more stronger. Next sign is a sign of Libra. Now for Librans, I would say Jupiter is supportive and you will feel more confident and capable of expressing yourself. Saturn is Saturn can cause maybe lethargy, tiredness, and you want to rest, but you, you will not be able to rest because there's too much of workload also on you. 
Rahu can also cause health problems, so take good care of yourself. Ketu has the potential to give you some financial advantages, no doubt about it. But you will have problems with your diet, with your nutrition that you're taking in. Overall, the time is favorable. The use of Jupiter, uh, make use of Jupiter, I would say, to get your work done before it goes into the sign of Pisces. Now, as per the planetary uh, position that I can see over here, favorable result physically, mentally and career-wise, but you can take a U-turn when we talk about business and family. See, the transit of Mars in the month of, uh, uh, in the month of January 16th in Sagittarius, Favorable financial results and profit can be seen over here. Saturn, Mars, Mercury and Venus forming a uh, Chaturgra Yoga at the beginning of March. This will result in financial success and a very smooth cash flow. Moving ahead, I would say if you are a student, if you are uh, pursuing some um, academic uh, this thing then Jupiter is transiting in Pisces in the month of April will give you a very promising result in the field of education anything to do, to do with foreign land job education will definitely be fulfilled between May and November long period I would say the transit of Mars in your fourth house from your sign on the 26th of February will incur fruitful academic results for student if you are a student. Rahu in Aries from the 13th or 12th of April. So, or the 7th house from your sign in April can bring major changes in your life of lovers as well as married couple. Those who are single may get married between October and November. So this was all for the sixth sign from April to uh, October Aries to Libra. In my next video, I shall be talking about the next sixth sign from Scorpio to Pisces. Thank you so much.